Wireless Node Detector Project of NXP Cortex M0 LPC1100 Design Challenge In this presentation I will show you quickly hardware block diagram, schematic, PCB, LPC link programmer, software block diagram, source code and the PC C Sharp application and I will close my presentation with my final video. The hardware block diagram consists of two parts, the wireless transmitter and the wireless receiver. The wireless receiver can use the PC through the USB cable and the incoming data we can see on the C-Sharp application. Or we can use option 2 where the display can, uh, can show us the result. The schematic is look like that. The PCB creation is designed in this way. LPC link programmer was used to program the both devices and uh, it was separated in two pieces as we can see. The left side is the LPC programmer and debugger. The software block diagram is look like that. The left part is for the transmitter, the right part is for the receiver. Uh, I have, have also designed the C-Stick timer handler interrupt function for both of them, SPI function and for the receiver I create the LCD function and the UART communication. The source code was written on the LPC Expresso and the final code size is uh, less than 6K. This means that it can fit even in the lowest family of LPC Expresso 1111. The PC C Sharp application uh, is look like that in the disconnected mode from the left side or connected mode from the right side. Uh, in the final video you will see how it's working. Now I will show you the final video. Now I will show you quickly my developing process of this fantastic NXP development board which I separate to the uh, programmer debugger and uh, uh, microcontroller board which I connected here uh, just for program running and debug it purpose with special connector. Um, the port 0 from pin 5 to uh, 7 uh, from 4 to 7 is used for the data as 4 bit bus and pin from port 2 4 to 6 is used as 3 pins for control data and I use also the TXD to send data to the MAX 232 to the serial keyboard. So let me show you quickly. Now I give the power to the MAX 232 and uh, to display and um, now I will give the power to the LPC 1114. As we can see the display start to showing wireless node detector. This is the name of my project. And uh, every second I send data to the COM port through this cable. So let me show you the um, hyper terminal software, how it's working. Now I receive the data from the COM port. Uh, wireless node detector and uh, also I uh, disconnect now um, I send the state of the port P15 which now P15 I will put to the ground so this means that this pin will have zero state and uh, if I connect it again to the software I will see that this byte is DF. This means that the bit 5 is 0. So this is correctly. Now, if I will uh, take the cable out, which means that the device will be connected to the pull up resistor, it will give us high voltage on the read state. And uh, the result should be FF. So let's check it. You see the last byte is FF. So the compact also working properly. I can show you quickly how this is look like on the software. 
um, I send the um, string of wireless node with this to command from flash as a constant and from a SRAM as detector and then um, I send another two strings detect and direct signal then I send uh, minus 73 dB as a hex which is FFB7 and finally I read the port state from the port 1 for the lowest uh, 8 bits which I'm interesting for the pin P15 so this was uh, quickly serial port debug and this was the LCD test where I sent wireless not detector which you saw here so now I will show you the final two PCB which I create for this project with the PC sharp application also how it look like this is um, two PCB for my project wireless not detector the left one is used as a transmitter this is a circuit for the booster which I take a power from single battery and this cable connector is using for programming and this is a FMRF uh, module which sends the data through this antenna this data is coming wirelessly to this antenna and this uh, data transmitted through the SPI protocol to the next PLPC 1114 and then for option 1 I send the data through the USB through the chip or to the display LCD uh, for programming I use this uh, LPC link and for from this connection I progr can program the device and this is used if I want to use um, the option where I will supply by battery. Now I will show you quickly <coughs> PCB design presentation and then I will show you the real application of these two models how they are working together. After connection of RF receiver device USB cable to PC, then PC create new serial port. I will connect now to the serial port. Every second 4 byte is coming. The first 2 byte is the 16 bit signed integer and the last 2 byte is the CRLF which is 0D08. Let me connect now to the PC C Sharp application. Here I need to select first the COM port, the baud rate and press the connect. The data is coming as a hex, I need to select hex, select the read mode and loop. Now the edit box of the incoming data will be updated all the time here and the indicator will start to show us the proper value as a text also here. We can see that the incoming signal is between minus 79 dBm and minus 73 dBm. So let me disconnect now and uh, exit from the application. Of course, if I want to send data outside, I can use the right mode, type the hex value here and press this send button. Um, thank you for the watching of my video. Bye.